already posted was a leg day. And unfortunately, I've got another leg day for you guys. Since I switched to Olympic weightlifting, it, pretty much everything that I do it involves legs in some way. So today I have back squat. Um, and I'm doing high bar back squat, um, which again, I kind of talked about in my last video, but I was doing mostly like powerlifting and strongman previously. And so low bar back squat has kind of always been my forte, which basically means that the bar is placed lower on my back and my hips hinge back more than they go straight down. So I'm learning how to do a high bar back squat efficiently and the weights are not gonna be crazy, but I'm excited. The pre-workout is already hitting too. So I actually only have about maybe a little bit over an hour to get this workout done. And then we're going over to my Nana's house because uh, we're taking some trees down. And so we're gonna work on that. Also, I'll show you guys my favorite tool of all time. It's a little baby chainsaw. I love it. So I'm warming up for some heavy singles and while I'm doing so, I'm really, really, really trying to hammer in uh, my technique. So I'm trying to break at my knees and let my knees track over my toes, drop my hips down and keep an upright torso. <laughs> sure if I'm doing a high bar squat correctly. <laughs> I feel like I'm reverting back to my low bar ways when it gets heavy and so I'm really trying to like not but I'll have to show this footage to John before I can say for sure because I looking I, I don't know I don't know. Honey give me a frisbee ready go quick honey quick that was 200 that I think is the heaviest high bar squat that I've ever done which is good, I guess, but I don't know if it was high bar. I'm gonna call John and ask him to come up here and watch the high bar squat so he can tell me if I'm doing it correctly or not. Hey, Crazy, what's up? Hey, John, I was wondering if maybe you would mind coming up here and just watching me high bar squat one time and telling me if I'm doing it right? Yeah, I'll be there in like two minutes. You are amazing, thank you. Yeah, I love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. All right, I'm gonna put on the performance of a lifetime. I did it once, and I, I just don't know. I can't tell if I'm like reverting back to being low bar while it's higher up on my back. But I'm. I'm... Try to keep the bar pads up to the center of your foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Always. 
always fight to keep more upright no matter what, but it looks really good. You can never be too upright if you want it to translate to weightlifting. Okay, don't be mad at me, but my camera was about to die literally the entire workout, and so I didn't film anything else. But I am gonna go make some lunch and then get ready to head over to my Nana's house. Sorry, my bunny girls. We'll see you later, though, okay? We'll see you later, sure. I love my women. I really do. <laughs> we'll see you later, okay, bunnies? We're gonna stop at my dad's house to grab his chainsaw and wheelbarrow and I think maybe a few other things. Then we'll head over to my Nana's who's at the end of their street. And um, the plan is basically my dad hired this guy to take down a bunch of trees and then we have to deal with everything that's on the ground. So um, he already got most of them done last Saturday and I was over there helping my dad just, you know, clear everything. So. I think the, the tree guy is back right now. He's taking down the trees and we will see. I don't think there's gonna be a crazy amount to do, so it'll probably take us maybe like three hours to clear everything. That's an estimate that means nothing because I really have no idea. Hey, Tom. Hey, crazy. No, do you want me to? favorite tool of all time. Baby chainsaw. Baby chainsaw. Douglas Chambers. Where? Oh, thanks, Jeff. Wow. You have fancy, man. Oh, actually, should we just... I think it goes at your Nana's house. I think you're right. Why don't you just roll up the... Okay, that works. Oops. Backwards? Wait, am I doing it backwards? No. Look no, you're good. So, what is that? What does that say? No, it's just Sony, but it's like up, upside down. You're fine, baby. Oh, that is weird, actually. The sun upside down? No, the logo is upside down. That is weird. Oh, you just flip. You can keep flipping this if you want. So your camera's about to die. Oh. Yeah, I know. Like.
blame it on the jeans. I don't know what she's gonna do either. Oh man, so I, do I have to go around now? I was comfortable. Sarah, you want to set up a ladder and pull it down? No. Hey, Dad. Can you hand me something to like push that way with? That's not going to work for sure. Why? That's really intertwined in there. I feel like a ladder's going to be the way to go. It might be. Here, sir. It's not going to wiggle down. I was pulling on it with the chainsaw and it wasn't coming. Got it. This <laughs> She's actually really high up there. Sarah, don't fall, okay? This is the kind of thing you drive past and you're like, that guy shouldn't be allowed to be on his own. Sarah, do you want me to get the ladder? No. At least you're not letting your pride get in the way. <laughs> That's good. Almost. Was it actually almost or was not just being supported? No, it seriously was almost. <laughs> it was not just being supported. You see, Sarah, there's a little branch sticking out. <laughs> right, right, right. You, you see the little branch? <laughs> <laughs> you don't see it? What, what's, what, do you mind? It's, it's all the way at the top. You're doing it there, you're doing it. Alright, now just grab it and jump out of the tree. <laughs> oh, okay, there you go. Oh, now you got the other one, son. Oh, okay. yeah. You got it. You got it under control. <laughs> yeah. You fall and break both your legs, don't come running to me. Ah. You got it. Did you see that? Hoo -hoo. Hooray! <laughs> I love your commentary. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. So we just got home and I'm gonna do a little bit of painting. Actually, I'm not sure if I've shown you guys, but recently I have to finish this picture and then I have to do this one. And then I'm officially done with the entire room, which I will say also I have to paint over that door. Um, it has taken a while. It's been a hot minute and I'm not gonna lie, I took a little bit of a break from painting because I think I was getting a little burnt out from it. So I took a few days off and uh, my plan is just to have this done by the end of the day tomorrow. But we know how I am with time frames, and I tend to have unrealistic expectations, but in this case, I think it might be real. So we'll see how much I can get done tonight, and then tomorrow's Saturday, and I'm gonna be home alone with the dogs like all day, so I feel like I can just get her done. cleaning the house and now I'm gonna go give honey a quick look of a play because she really needs some love and same with my Chloe right my Chloe girl who do I love Chloe just doesn't really like to play as much but then I'm going to paint although I must say based on what I got done last night I think I will be very happy if I just finish that one today because I have to work out still and then I've got some other stuff I need to do so we shall see look at this girl you would think I never play with you, honey. Oh, it's windy. Take your maker off. What do I know? Honey, let's go play. Let's go play. Oh, drop it. Are you ready? Ready, honey? Go, honey! That was a bad throw. Holy freaking moly, you guys. It is like February 8th. What is going on? This is crazy. Honey, come here quick. 
Look at this flower, honey. No, no, right here. No, no, right here. Do you see? It's so pretty. pretty. Do you love it, honey? Wow. I actually think that this might be the first time ever that I underestimated what I could do in a day because I not only finished this painting, but I also was able to finish the second painting. So I am so incredibly excited to say that I'm officially done painting the bedroom. I started this project a few weeks ago and I started um, listening to the Harry Potter audiobooks at the same time. I'm officially on the last book, which means that I put probably like 70 hours into painting in her bedroom, which is pretty crazy. But as you can see by the end, I was a little bit delusional because I actually painted her fingers yellow. I thought that that was part of her hair. I did go back and fix that later. After I was watching the video though, I was watching and I was like, this is so satisfying. Then I was like, wait a minute. That is not satisfying at all. But anyway, I did go back, finish it. And so now all we have to do is put some black trim around all the pictures and then it is officially done. But yeah, I hope you guys like it. Like, subscribe. I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later.